Good afternoon all. Today I'm going to buy uh, the most expensive electricity I can find in town and then I'm going to buy the cheapest electricity I can find and compare the two. So this is the most expensive electricity I'm led to believe and indeed Osprey have just put their prices up to one pound per kilowatt hour so I won't have much of this but I will have a little bit so I'll select CCS uh, that doesn't seem to be working what's that oh there's a red light up there why is there a red light are they all red No, that one's green. I'll have to move the car. Right, CCS is what I want. And start. But like I say, I'm not going to do too much of this because it's very expensive. Right, there it goes. So it's talk to the car. You can see that I've got 60%. Uh, 0.01 kilowatt hour. So I'll let it go to, I don't know, one kilowatt hour. That's still a pound. And then I'll go over to the cheapest uh, charging points in High Wycombe, which are considerably cheaper than this one. Uh, right, that's a couple of percent, so let's finish charging and see what it says on the Osprey unit. And uh, there it is, 1.35 kilowatt hours. Oh, that's interesting. 1.35 kilowatt hours and I think it said 89p so that's not charging a pound a kilowatt hour is it yes yeah, a typical Sunday afternoon on the London Road bumper to bumper right this one is cheap or should be cheap this is uh, Pod point in the retail park. If you look for Cole Earl, uh, you can find out exactly where this is. Okay, let's get my cable and plug in. Car end is in. Let's plug in the charge point end. Yeah. Tricky single handed. Now that should go green. And when it stabilizes green, it means it's charging. Now on the pod points, you have to confirm the charge on the app within 15 minutes of plugging in. So let's do that. Right, so on here, I need to go into pod point and find out where I am. So it does a locate. I'm here near High Wycombe, well it's in High Wycombe really, Wycombe Retail Park, uh, I'm on unit Coal Earl and I'm on port B, so I'll confirm the charge on port B, your charge has been successfully confirmed, so let's go back, hello, go back, now if I look at the weekly tariffs, um, of course this is only a seven kilowatt you can see there under speed weekly tariffs there you can see that these are still at 14p per kilowatt hour which is pretty mad uh, that's actually cheaper than my electricity at home which is 28p per kilowatt hour so yes it's very cheap here um, it's a Sunday today so it's the bottom one there yeah 14p per kilowatt hour quite a significant difference from the one pound per kilowatt hour at the Osprey chargers. And here on my uh, battery panel 
you can see that it's slow charging. Uh, charging, well, it's 12.59 at the moment, so it's 1 p.m. Charging will finish up to 80%, that is. I'm um, currently on 62%. At uh, 3 p.m., so I'd have to sit here for two hours because this is a slow 7 kilowatt charger, whereas the Osprey one was a 50 kilowatt charger. So this is, ooh, a sixth of the speed, something like that. Yeah, much slower. Um, well, I'll sit here for a while. In fact, I want to visit um, Marks and Spencer, so I'm going to do that. Uh, 62% and I'll come back to this display when I come back from M&S. So it's been 20 minutes, it's now 13.22 and what's odd about these chargers is they slow down so after 20 minutes it's dropped from, it was 15 amps, it's now dropped to 8 amps so that's dropped to about uh, 3.5 kilowatts rather than 7 kilowatts and I suspect that that's because uh, these chargers are very cheap and almost certainly subsidized and so after a while they reduce the rate at which you're getting cheap electricity now I've discovered that if you unplug I'm gonna flip the car around actually because uh, I prefer to sit with the car reversed into the space and the cable just reaches uh, between the charging point there and the front of the car just reaches literally within a few inches uh, plug back in and see if the thing goes back up to 15 amps and if you multiply 15 amps I think it can go up to 17 amps actually oh why has it gone down to 3 amps <laughs> that's ridiculous what's it doing uh, yes 2 amps at 373 volts that's even that's around a kilowatt isn't it um, yes I'll, I'll unplug plug back in and see if this speeds up again so as I say, this just reaches plugged into the front of the car and running up the side, just reaches. It's slightly off the ground there by the driver's door, but it's below the door so I can get back in the car. And there it is, back to 15 amps at 374 volts. And if you multiply those together, it comes to a little under uh, 7 kilowatts. And so presumably it'll give me another... I don't know 20 minutes at 7 kilowatts and then throttle it back to three and a half kilowatts again so I'll probably sit here while it's at 7 kilowatts and then uh, when it throttles back I'll move on but uh, yeah that's most expensive charging and cheapest charging in High Wycombe cheerio